Okay, hi. So I said I would take a look at my A7 case cases with respect to the mounting of the dynamo and obstruction at this location. Interestingly, I now see that a previous owner has actually ground away part of the crankcase right there. I don't know if that was to allow for the fitting of the dynamo or not. This bike certainly had a dynamo when it came from the factory. It was never a uh, off-road vehicle. So looking here, in the position we're at right now, you can see the shoulder here of the dynamo hits the um, circle right there. When we're in this position, you can see the relationship of the back housing. And I'm going to rotate the dynamo to the extent it can be rotated before it hits the neck, before it obstructs going the other way. <laughs> Sorry, we almost lost the whole thing. Okay, so now, oh. so now, now the shoulder's hitting in the bottom end there, bottom side, and you can see the position of the housing now. So that's all of the rotation you get in the eccentric without causing the dynamo to try to move away from the crankcase. Try to rotate it a little more there and we get that. So we go like that and we're good until we get here. Now it's now that shoulder is hitting the top in here. So that's what I can offer with that. All right. Bye-bye.